But today is the day after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, is it Eve? What would the day after be called? Well, the day after Thanksgiving does also have a name. It's called Black Friday. Black Friday. Today is Black Friday, which means on the Bow Disciples website, which I love this orange, construction site approved, gun season approved. Love the orange. You can get that. This hat, by the way, one of the most underrated Bow Disciples items ever. Crazy comfortable. Got the breathable back with the netting and uh, Velcro, so very adjustable. And I love these hats. Did you say that word again? Velcro. It's Velcro, isn't it? So anyways, if you hit the website right now, bowdisciples.com, you can get the, every any item. Actually, any 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 order you put together, doesn't matter if it's one item or you buy every single item or you buy five items, uh, your whole order is going to be 30% off, free shipping in the United States, and $12 international shipping on the website through Monday. Now through Monday. It's live right now. So hit the website, bowdisciples.com. Take advantage of it. But I did not come just to plug my ad. I also stopped by because I wanted to talk about how I sh uh, split pins. How I split pins because I do shoot a five pin fixed sight. It's actually a five pin slider, but I have 20 through 60 fixed right here. And the reason I like to shoot a five pin sight, and I basically always have, is because I like to, for the style of hunting that I do, or even target shooting, but especially for hunting, I like to have 20 through 60 right there ready to go. So if I draw on an animal and he's at 30, but he takes a few steps out, I don't have to like, or, or even say he takes five steps out, I don't have to let down, rearrange, redial my single pin and then do it again. All I have to do is just, you know, s slope up to my 60 or whatever. How I like to split pins, we're at 35 yards right now. A lot of people will kind of get here and then as if the camera's the target, the lens where I'm looking at the eye, they'll leave their pins like this and have dead space between the two fingers that they're holding that dead space on the target, which is not bad. And I have done that for quite a bit of time, but in the past several years, I found a system that I think works a little better. Say it's 45 yards and you have a 40 and a 50 yard pin. What I like to do is get your gap and then say this this pin right here and this one are both setting on the animal or the target is then find the pin that has something i can hold on more and if it's this 40 i'll gap them and then just let my eye float up to this 40 pin and hold that pin and pull through the shot i think that works a little bit better for me and it gives me an actual pin to be able to hold on uh, which is pretty nice so we're here at uh probably about 35 yards so i'm gonna get my camera guy back behind me and we'll see if we can uh put it in there i'll kind of talk through my process again draw back get on a buck okay so i'm gapping the pins and then just let my eye float to the let my eye float to the 30 and that was a perfect shot it's actually a little tougher on like a 3d target like this but i do find it works better for me to just see where my pin is floating and then hold that go ahead and pump one more in there those are both right in the pump station right in the pump station which we also have a whole line of pump station merch on the website bowdisciples.com 30 percent off all weekend Okay, so one more time, draw. Get that pin gap. Let that eye float up. Let's go take a look at this. By the way, this is a really, I love this sight. I've shot this, uh, this black gold five pin slider. I've shot these for at least a decade now. I really like them, so. Never done a review on them, and if that's something you guys would be interested in, maybe more like a, the component reviews of the stuff I shoot, let me know and I could definitely mix them in if you guys want that. 35 yards, so anyways, try that. If you split pins a different way, and that works really good for you, dope. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing out another option you can try and play around with to see if you like it. So if you don't currently shoot that way, give it a try and see how you like it, and then come back, drop a comment, let me know how it worked for you. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up this quick. Oh, jeez, oh, Martha. Oh, Wendy. 
Oh, Mary. Uh, that's going to wrap up this video. And again, I'd really appreciate it. This is the last sale we're going to have all year on BoDisciples.com. So check it out if you guys want to. And we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Subscribe as well. Thank you.